Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is Monday the 22nd of January and here I am in my new humble abode a way to film you a house tour video which is so fun um, I've been asked a lot about when's the house tour video coming the house tour video is coming right now you better believe it it's coming right now and um, yeah so excited about this a bit of a long story this is massive for me and Lewis because oh well we'll just dive right into it we have been together seven years or is it eight years this year? 2016 we got together and after, just not long after we got together, Lewis bought a flat in the centre of town in Aberdeen. We were there for seven years. We tried to sell it for three years. We finally got it sold in June 2023. Went to live with my mum and dad. We were gonna stay until springtime 2024 this year. But this beautiful house came up. This house had been up for sale for about five or so months and we had our eye on it but nothing ever came of it and then they dropped the price at the in November I think it was November the end of November and we just came and viewed it once and was like we want this house it's a three bedroom it's a big house this has been massive like we've been waiting so long for this so to have a newborn and move house all in one month I don't recommend just just if you're wondering save yourself the hassle this house was perfectly move-inable, like we didn't need to do anything to the house, sorry, you can probably hear Heidi screaming. We didn't need to do a thing to it. There is things that we want to do to it, uh, but I will just fill you in with that along the way. But I'm so excited to film this video. Welcome to the Browns' home, Heidi's home. Um, yeah, let's do a little tour. Let's just keep it brief. Not bragging or anything, we worked very hard for this house, so I hope you enjoy. Well, because we're here, let's start with the kitchen. Um, so this is our kitchen here. So we've got like a kitchen diner. This is the kitchen. This is our bin from the flat. Um, our washing machine is basically brand new. So we just put our new one in. Heidi's little prep machine. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about baby stuff, but if you're having a baby, you need a nubby flask and rapid cooler. That's all I'll say on that. And in here is a dishwasher, which is perfect. For some weird reason, what they do these days is put you, their, your boiler in your kitchen space, which really, really infuriates me. And my mum's house has it. It just takes up so much kitchen space. I don't know why they do it. We've got to live with our big ass boiler in our kitchen. This is our coffee station, our Nespresso coffee machine. I've talked about this on my YouTube channel before absolutely love my Nespresso machine. We treated ourselves to this on Amazon um, on Black Friday, which is really cool. All my work girls were around the other day, so we used loads of pods. This is a coffee machine setup. Cake, obviously for cake and coffee time at 4 p.m. And yeah, these are our Morphe Richards, we were up, we did the flat up because we weren't going to move and then we ended up moving and I bought these Morphe Richards kettle and toaster. We have had this since we moved into the flat, our trusty microwave and fridge freezer. We've actually just been to Tesco. This is a proper house tour. Um, yeah, we've just been to Tesco, done a food shop and our freezer's actually tiny. Like a two drawer freezer but we don't need much more and then here is our dining area this is crazy they left the tv the old owners left the tv um and they didn't want money for it we've just left it up there it's not like a smart tv we only ever i only ever have the news on in the background and um, this is like a little omg light from primark i really wanted the pink it's amazing but i didn't really want it to say omg um but it does um, yeah, so this is our sterling table. Love this table so much. It is extendable. You like pull these bits out at the side and you can extend it. We've got the big bench. And then when we were in sterling, I saw these cushions, which I absolutely adore. I think these have been on a YouTube video as well. Absolutely love these. Got these in a Black Friday sale. I think the table was Black Friday sale as well. 
the cushions just spread me on to do a pink theme, which I didn't think too much about with this grey wall, but the pink and the grey, I adore it. Like it's it's everything. So the bench goes perfectly with um the grey wall. And then I got this from Decenio, is that how you say it? And got the frame from IKEA. But putting big wall art in frames is actually so expensive. Uh, but yeah, this is our kitchen diner. Probably the only pink I'll be allowed in this house. But yeah, this is it. Sorry, you can hear Heidi. So yes, everything in here is gonna stay as is. Like this is for now complete. There's nothing we want to do with this anymore. In here is storage space. This one has a light, which is cool. Well, it's gonna be a pantry, I don't know. We've just put random crap in here, champagne all our booze from the old house mop however if you caught me on instagram you'll know i am now obsessed with my flash mop this thing is brilliant your flash mop uh lewis bought a shark hoover he's obsessed with hoovers gets really weird about them and um, so treat himself to a shark hoover when we moved in just random crap in there but look how stunning the doors are in this house just beautiful doors that's just what pulled me more towards this house. We've just got a glass door here. This is really cute. We've got a little heart stool, which I saw from my mum and dad. And just put a light here. This is our stairway. But straight ahead, we have the living room. I'll put a light on. Down here, we have a hallway, which is everything I've ever wanted. Two cupboards. This one doesn't have any lights, but there's like toolboxes. And we have got shoes, changing bag. Uh, jackets in there and then in here we have this massive downstairs bathroom absolutely huge <laughs> look at it this pink i am obsessed with pink but i actually just really don't like this at all i have big plans for this even when i came to view it the first time i had we weren't even anywhere near putting in an offer and I was like I actually know what I want to do with this bathroom already so bought a gold mirror from Ikea I just want people to walk in here and be like Rhiannon has had a crazy midlife crisis at the age of 26 that is what I want people to walk in here and be like whoa this is crazy so I'm going to put funky pink and teal wallpaper on this big wall and then I'm going to paint all the other walls teal and then I want to put black and white stripey wallpaper on the ceiling. I have had a painter down here has given me a quote, although I haven't mentioned what the ceiling wallpaper yet, so he's probably gonna say no because that's a bit crazy, but yeah, big plans is downstairs bathroom because this is a bathroom like everyone will use, like the toilet when they come, so I really want to make a big crazy job of it because I went to view a new build like show home and they had like a really crazy bathroom and I was like when I get a house one day that's what I'm gonna do. Just um treat myself to the white company soap and hand cream actually and I've got a little Seychelles candle in here just because it is one that people will use so yeah and then back out in the hallway I have wanted a hallway my entire life and here it is. This is our downstairs hall. Um, the fairy lights are so cute. Just love it. They're more effective in real life. But anyway, we will come through into the living room where we have Lewis and Heidi. Is it feed, feeding time at the zoo? Yeah, it is feeding time at the zoo. We've just got some Heidi stuff down here. These are our green sofas from DFS. I'm gonna pop the light on. Good idea. I'm kinda see they're green that we had in the flat these were an absolute ball ache to get from dfs i do not recommend that company at all i don't know anybody that does do you no i've never heard a good story about them to be fair they're such a they're, in business. they're such a big company i do not know how they're in business because they just everyone says has horror stories um but yeah new lamps where did we get the lamps from next Dunelm. Good girl. <laughs> Cheap gold and white tables from Amazon. I think they were £29 each. Oh. Yeah, we wanted to go white, green and gold in here, but they have painted it like a dark, a dark creamy colour, which we're going to keep. Bitten off more than she can chew again. Hi, Dichop. Just give me more, okay? Look at her socks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lewis is just up to something super exciting on the laptop, aren't you? Watchless space. Watchless space. Mm -hmm. um, Vegas vlogs. We still watch Vegas vlogs, don't we? Just because we like the people. Yeah. We're not intending on going back. We're not going back to Vegas yet. We will one day. One fine day. Uh, this coffee table is. It matches uh, these little ones here. Um, where is this from? Oh, Amazon. I wanted a rug. Um, didn't I from like Sterling and Sterling Furniture where we got the table the dining room table But the rug I wanted was like 200 odd quid and every rug was about that wasn't it? They were so expensive Some of them are really ugly Rugly <laughs> This was about 60 pound from Amazon Yeah And it's got the same green in it. It's a bit crazy quite old-fashioned But everyone has complimented it when they've come in so I'm like hmm I love it as well. The only the only thing I would say with the living room and the kitchen diner is the rooms are very narrow, aren't they? Yeah. Which did kind of put us off, which is why the setup here is it looks really separate, but it's really cozy. This is a new TV unit from IKEA. You'll see the table better here. It's just like a really I think it's quite an ugly yellow gold yellow mustardy gold, but it fits this room so perfect that It'll do. Our old TV from the flat and my old mirror, which is the range. This is my um, Asda outfit. Love it. Anyway, onwards and upwards. How do you love the home? I love the home a lot. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Considering where we came from. Oh yeah. yeah. And what a journey. What a journey. <laughs> 2023 was a whirlwind. It was a whirlwind. Anyway, that's the living room and we will go upstairs. So this is our staircase. I absolutely love it. It like wraps all the way around. Um, this is a little lantern from my grand's house that my mum took back when she was cleaning it out and love, 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 love. Um, they had this green wall on already, which we're not going to touch because it's absolutely stunning. We just need to put something on the walls, but we haven't figured that out yet. My little fairy lights, which I actually had in my mum's living room when I was giving birth to Heidi. If you didn't know, I actually had a home birth. It was planned, didn't just spontaneously give birth in my mum's living room. This is our light actually from our bedroom in our flat. And these used to be in our living room at the flat as well. We had two, but I've just kept one. But yeah, this is our hall, our upstairs hall. Um, In here, we have got towels, bedding, washing and ironing. I'm not afraid to show because this is real life. Um, this is our main bathroom. A nappy bin, Tommy Tippy nappy bin. Um, yeah, this is just gorgeous. This makes it feel like so fancy, like a hotel. This, this gives me hotel vibes, I don't know why. Um, and then a bath board, Heidi's bath. And then you get these in your baby box for anyone wondering and it comes up with the temperature of your baby, um, of the water in the bath. And then I had these in the flat. Um, so yeah, I've just kept them. The only problem here is this is the main bathroom in a family home. So, oh my God, I'm sorry, breath. So this is gonna have to somehow be all tiled and be a shower over the bath one day uh, but we're not really in a rush to do that yet the bath is stunning yeah, i was obsessed with baths in my pregnancy and i've had one bath um since giving birth and it was in here and the bath is so deep it is just a beautiful beautiful bath i even like that the tap is in the middle of the bath i don't know this bathroom it's very plain Jane, but I'm obsessed with it. It just needs um, a shower in it one day. But like I say, like my nephews are six years old and um, my sister-in-law was telling me that they still bath at six and Heidi's just a month old. So I feel like I've got at least six years on me uh, before Heidi, will, at least six years before Heidi will be taking showers. So for now, it'll be a bath only. But yeah, love it so much. And yeah, you can see the hallway a bit better here. And then in here is our bedroom. 
it's actually ginormous on the camera it's like i just feel that you don't need anything bigger than this like we've got our two bedside drawers they're ikea the lamps are from our living room in the flat they are b and q b and q's lighting by the way absolutely love the lighting area here um that bed is like from glasgow just off the back of the lorry don't ask too much about it and um, we are painting this green wall navy i love green do not get me wrong but there is so much green in this house that's going to go navy um, we don't have any mirrored wardrobes in this house, which I absolutely love. Um, so back with the same colour, same kind of doors. And I can show you in there actually. We've just got all our, well, all of my clothes are in here. So, such heavy, thick doors. Love them. Um, yeah, and then we've just got Heidi's little bed here, which we put here um during the night but here so i can get in and around and then in here we have our ensuite now this is another reason Lewis, when we moved in he must have unpacked the box my razor was in and has stuck it right in the middle of the shower curtain uh, the shower glass so i don't know why um but yeah it's like a big rainfall shower how beautiful this is it's just giving hotel vibes we say that this is like one this is like our favorite thing in this house the big space it's just actually crazy and the shower is so powerful and the stupid green razor hang it's just so ugly um yeah sink towel rail skincare nicola had this in her bathroom across the road <laughs> so i've copied it because i loved it so much that's like home bargains i think and a charging toothbrush port, which is cool. But yeah, this is our ensuite bathroom, which just feels so adult having an ensuite bathroom. Um, but yeah, back out into the hallway. And we've got a spare room and Heidi's room. This is the spare room. I would say, excuse the mess, but this house is lived in. Houses are for living in. So this is how we live. Um, this room is much bigger than our bedroom, but it doesn't have the ensuite and we've decided to take the ensuite because the main bathroom doesn't have a shower, so we would be in there all the time having the shower anyway, but a big wardrobe, but we have got wrapping paper, um, confidential important documents, we have got board games and an iron loose's clothes there. A mirror that they left behind again it's just so filthy that i but it just doesn't clean it's so annoying like all the it's just filthy but i can't clean it but it's free this is a big mirror that was in our living room in the flat that is going to go somewhere i don't know if i want it on the big green wall coming up the stairs or if i want it outside the bathroom downstairs in the hallway and um, here we have a bookshelf oh this is laura miss laura um, Natasha and Matty, we went to Glasgow. We were so steaming on this trip and we watched the vlog back the other day. I actually couldn't even watch it. Um, but yeah, cute. I was talking about that the other day. Um, just drawers here and here we have the dressing table. Just stunning. So many wires under there, but yeah, this is it. This is the spare room and we just put washing up here. The plan is to just keep it the same colour it is just now. We're not going to bother painting this because we don't know what we're going to do with it. We do want an Ikea day bed in there, but I would rather... They're like £600 by the time you get the day bed, the mattresses, the sheets, everything. So we are, we'd rather go on holiday. And we don't need a spare bed at the moment. Beautiful room. Really love it, to be honest. Oh, another thing. I said that we were going to do... Did I? Yeah, so the only things we need to do is paint and decorate the things that I've already mentioned, plus the carpet needs replaced. In here, there is just makeup like all over the floor. Like you can't really see it, and but but there's like makeup stains everywhere. And then on the stairs, I don't know if you can see it here. It's just like it's almost like a cat has been at it. Um, but there's all that all over the stairs and it's just filthy. It's about, the house is actually seven years old. 
and it's cream carpet so it, it's bound to need replaced so we are going to replace that at some point um hopefully this year that was just another thing i thought i'd mention and then in here is heidi's room which was a little boy's room before it doesn't look it it looks navy but it's actually like a dark teal color Lewis wants to do a safari theme if i had it my way i'd probably do space have a space theme but this is her bedroom so the three bedrooms are actually really big this is just ikea some teddy bears or florence this is florence uh from the older bear that we got for heidi i wanted to call heidi florence at one point um but lewis wasn't budging on heidi and obviously i love the name heidi so we called her teddy florence instead <laughs> and then these are all her teddies that people have given her it's so cute love these but yeah this is her bedroom um which is i'm going to get a is that a dado rail a dado rail so i'm going to put like a white rail around here hopefully um i need a joiner to come and do that and then we're going to paint the bottom like a khaki green which is another reason i'm getting rid of the green in our bedroom khaki green on the bottom and then i want to put white on the top and then she's going to have a cot here um yeah and then this is our wardrobe it's actually so sweet all the pink hangers loads of blankets and then there's loads of clothes in here it looks chaotic but all these bags have actually got like all their six to nine stuffs there her three to six is in a bag there and nine to twelve is in there and then lots of like toys and stuff that people have given us already jackets cardigans so cute anyway but yeah this is little Heidi's bedroom which will hopefully look like a safari oh so that is going to conclude the tour that is the tour of our forever home we are never moving I just said that earlier today we were discussing carpet for the upstairs and I was like this is our forever home like I want to get good carpet I will never move from here I just feel like not that I will ever have another baby but if I did um which I won't because this shit is hard like i can have more than just heidi in this house like we've got room for another baby or maybe another two babies but we're not having any more we're just having heidi um but yes this is our home and we love it so much and i had like i said i had all the work girls around um the other day and it just felt even more homely having like all my closest friends in my home like i don't know i feel like people that come to your house make it homely um so yeah i want all my friends to come back it was so nice can't believe i'm a homeowner i actually went to pick up the keys when heidi's when heidi was six days old the girls were like how small how young is your baby i was like she's not even a week old and i'm here picking up the keys to my new house she was like the lady was like oh you're crazy i was like yeah yeah i'm crazy anyway yes i hope you've enjoyed it if you like this video give it a big thumbs up we've got exciting news coming soon can't wait to share with you all yes thank you for joining me and we will see you on the next video bye